Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's so so and um, welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of using Macaroo. So I've used Macaroo for the past um, three years and these pros and cons are the consistent pros and cons that I've found out from using Macaroo for three years. So the positives and negatives I've always discovered while using Macaroo. So let's get into it. Enjoy. So I'm going to start with the pros. So the first pro um, that I discovered and the advantage of using macaroot was increased appetite. So I particularly chose to take macaroot because I wanted to gain weight and I knew to gain weight I had to increase the amount of food that I was eating. And I knew to increase the amount of food that I was eating I had to increase my appetite too. So macaroot was great for doing this. As you guys probably saw in my um, 1000 calorie protein shake, um, I use macaroon in the morning, so either as soon as I wake up or after brushing my teeth and having a shower, I take macaroon and within 30 minutes I feel really hungry. Then before when I don't when I wouldn't take macaroon, I wouldn't feel hungry, so I would skip breakfast, I wouldn't eat breakfast. So a big pro for macaroon is increasing appetite. So the second pro which links so closely with the first pro is weight gain so as i said earlier on um to weight gain you have to increase your appetite and as a result of increasing your appetite and eating more food um you also gain weight and this was a big big pro for me because this is entirely what i wanted out of using macaroo um without eating more food and without eating a, a calorie surplus you're not going to gain weight it's just as simple as that so a weight gain is a big big pro for me and also um as you can see from the picture by gaining weight, I was able to also increase my um, glute size as well. Um, but also also going to the gym too and lifting weight. But weight gain was a big, big thing I wanted. And this was a massive pro for me. Um, so the third advantage of using macaroon that I discovered unconsciously was the increased energy. So I did not take macaroon for increased energy. I know some people do. Um, however, this was a big pro for me because when I was using the Petermin, which I'll talk about in another video... I had reduced energy, I was feeling very low and quite depressed to some extent. Um, but macaroon for me was um, an advantage for macaroon was being able to have an increased energy. Um, so when I go to the gym, I just feel a bit more alive <laughs> and more excited. Um, so it was great for energy levels for me, really. And yeah, increased energy is the third advantage of using macaroon. So moving swiftly on, I'm going to talk about the cons of using macaroon. Um, these cons are things that influence my decision to sometimes take break, breaks from macaroon because it was just too much for me to handle um, and it impacted me in a negative way that I sometimes took a month off using macaroon or two months or a week or two weeks off because for me it was too much. Um, but these are cons and it might not influence you it might not impact you in the same way but these are things that happened to me over th the period of three years of using macaroon um, that I thought I should let you guys know about okay so the first con and this is a big con for me was the heavy periods I got from using macaroon um, as you guys might know or might not know from my previous video macaroon sent me to the hospital the A&E and that was because it increased my blood flow during my period and this was just ridiculous. So you can watch that video to find out more about it. But really, really heavy periods to a point where I had to go to the a &E to get help. Yeah, heavy periods was a big disadvantage for me. Um, I still get it occasionally. I just know how to treat it now by myself. But this might not impact everybody in a similar way. But this was a big con for me. Okay, so the second con that might seem like a huge contrast to the first con um, that I just mentioned is the missed period. Um, so this is totally different from having heavy periods. Macaroon also meant that I missed some period or I missed or I was late um, in my period cycle. I'm not sure how this worked. Um, I think it does impact your hormones. I think this is why I'm either getting heavy periods or missed periods. But um, I really do have a consistent cycle. Um, but when I take macaroon, it does mess that up quite a bit. And sometimes I might be a week off or two weeks off where I'm two weeks late or a week late or even three weeks late because I'm using macaroon. So it does impact my periods or my cycle in this manner. Um, I'm quite aware of what's going on in my body. So I know when I'm taking macaroon, that might be a week late or two weeks late um, or a few days later than usual. So this is a con for me might not be a con for everybody like I said or it might not impact everyone in a similar way but this was a con for me 
So the third con or the third disadvantage of using macaroon is the fact that it causes me to break out or increases my acne. So I'm going to insert a video right here of how my skin looks like when I'm taking macaroon. And this was a video I uploaded um, last year when I was talking about sunscreen with darker skin. But yeah, this is what my skin looked like as a result of taking macaroon. Anytime I take macaroon, within, a, within two days at least of taking the first few tablets of macaroon, I break out, no doubt whatsoever, no matter how much B4, um, B5 vitamin I use, um, or, you know, my chemical pills, or retinoin, or tre everything, like, my skin always breaks out by using macaroon, and this has been a big, big issue for me, where I've had to stop taking macaroon for at least two months, because my skin was consistently breaking out. I don't drink milk, I think I have a relatively good diet, I don't eat that much fried foods and I know that even if I'm completely straight with my diet, if I take my karoot, I always break out and I always have acne and it's frustrating because I'm really, really prone to hyperpigmentation and I'm prone to hyper hyperpigmentation and so by having increased spots or increased acne, I get loads of hyperpigmentation and this is what I hate 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 most about using macaroon so sometimes i might just persist with be persistent with it and just take it for at least five months every single day just so my body gets used to it but i always just get acne with it and as soon as i stop <laughs> taking macaroon within the first three days of stopping taking macaroon my skin clears up and i don't have acne or breakouts anymore any new acne or breakouts and this is just a shame for me you know it's not a result of the companies who make the macro it's just how macro affects me in this way and i think like i said earlier on because i i i honestly believe and i think this is true it does impact your hormones and um and this is how it impacts my hormones and i'm always i'm already prone to acne and breakout anyways but macro just takes it to the next level where i can do everything right with my diet my skincare routine but if i take macro trust me within a day or two I have at least three new spots or four new spots and they consistently get a lot more. They get more consistent over a few days or more weeks of using macaroon. And they are in the most ridiculous places where you usually won't get spots or acne breakout. So my eyebrows, for example, or as you can see, my cheek and just in, but the most are just my face. So this can be a pro and con approach because it lets me know that oh, macaroon is working and is doing something in my body. But it's a con because I don't want to break out. I don't want more acne. I don't want more hyperpigmentation. So this is really like the most unfortunate, unfortunate con for me using macaroon because it's the most frustrating and it's most obvious. And I've had a, a huge struggle with my acne and breakouts for many, many years um, and hyperpigmentation in particular too. And just knowing that this is a product that I, this is a product that I really like and it causes me to have more acne it just makes me really sad <laughs> um yeah it makes me really really sad like because i really like to use macaroon you know i think it does a great job at helping me gain weight at increasing appetite and energy however it breaks me out so much and i get so much more acne and it's just oh, it's a shame this is another kind of using it, i suppose so the last um point it's it can be either pro or con really these macaroons so I just left it in its own category and this is increased libido um many people as you might not as you might know or might not know take macaroon um to increase to increase their libido or fertility i think i'm not sure it really it works for fertility or not but it definitely does increase your libido and this can be a pro or con for you so if you're celibate or you you know you're not in a relationship or marriage and you're not you know sexually active um you might not want to have increased libido or if you are trying to conceive and have a baby or you want to increase libido this definitely does increase your libido and it, i definitely had this for me it was a con um but so for others it might be a pro but definitely macro for me increase my libido um and i think that also goes hand in hand with the increased energy but i definitely know how macaroon increases my libido 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about my experience of using macaroo i'll catch you guys later bye